to buy Douglas Hofstadter, who wrote the book Godel Escher Bach, and yeah. kind of a strange loop. And he was, there's a lot of meta ideas in his work. He has a book called Meta, Meta Magical Themes, I think. Um, but so I arrived at all this terminology when the book came out. So he contacted me from a group called Meta Mind and Spirituality, writing a book, and he was writing a book called Emergentism. Welcome to Dreaming Jaguars. It's too windy out there. I've just shot a, a wicked sunrise um, up on top of Sisbury Ring, sacred place. But it's just too windy, so I have come to the car to do the video today. Uh, I did ring Juzzy. He's got some stuff going on at the moment, um, but he'll be back very, very shortly, and uh, he can explain it to you. So, um, DMT sacred is it a sacred experience what is a sacred experience um, and it is magic the science of the future so I've been I've been kind of doing a bit of research watching podcasts listening to podcasts um, and I hear this kind of you know DMT is a sort of breakthrough psychedelic experience is a sacred experience um, and it kind of makes me think you know a hundred years ago the science that we have today was magic and you know if you and an, a good analogy was a garage door right you press a button and your garage door opens now if you were to be able to go back a hundred years and do that, then that would be deemed to be a magic wand, right? So we look at these experiences now and we look at what's, you know, coming down the pipe with artificial intelligence and the experience is so profound, so life changing, world view changing, earth shattering. Um, but is that is that go is that experience going to be unpacked in science further down the line almost certainly yes as we kind of progress um you know in brain science neuroscience and then the sort of the science of the phenomenology of the experience um does does it open up to us when we put our we add our sort of you know, in five years' time, the AI algorithms that will be able to map brain uh, fMRI um, brain patterns. I mean, we're you know we're doing it now, and it's kind of really leading to sort of breakthrough theories on what these experiences are. Um, do those experiences in a few years' time? unfold something fundamental about reality who knows it's, it's fun to speculate um, you know and, and I hear a lot of people sort of saying these experiences are sacred and that's kind of overlaying the this um, this sort of science versus magic aspect onto the experience I think you know you can't do this because it's sacred and you mustn't you must do this and you must and that, these are just man-made constructs no nobody knows that if you if you if you don't do something in a in a in a ceremony that you're going to call on bad spirits or whatever it's just pure speculation so 
and that that's what I'm sort of talking about you know we have to kind of um, change the way that we we look at these experiences and we just sort of have an open mind go in with an open mind uh, and and don't try and wrap man-made stuff around the experience take the experience for what it is um, it definitely feels like it's there is knowledge there that, that, that is not yet understood and the entities that inhabit said space are not understood we don't know nobody knows what that is and what they are whether or not they are a part of our psyche whether or not they are uh, freestanding you know independent intelligences it certainly feels like it but again it, it's it's this perception we're sort of we're looking at it from a uh, you know a 2024 perception and maybe in 2029 when when ai is 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 has unpacked fundamental secrets of the universe and the science our science is just exploding we may well um we may well learn a lot more about this experience <clears throat> that was the wife so it's interesting to think where we might be in a very short number of years from now um i don't know whether or not people are following this kind of ai trend this explosion of artificial intelligence uh, open AI have got huge huge things coming this year and I think we're just in the beginning of this intelligence explosion and then you know like I say I, I, I keep kind of making sure that when I shoot these videos that I pull together everything else that's going on around it because it, it, it's a convergence of science and intelligence and whether or not you believe the UAP UFO thing I personally think that there is something out there that is here that is trying to make contact with us whether or not it's always been here whether or not it has something to do with the the intelligence you know encountered in a DMT or breakthrough psychedelic experience and then we're giving birth to AI and it's, it's this whole it feels to me like everything is kind of funneling and accelerating and this is what McKenna talked about with his um, his his uh, singularity at the end of time I can't think of that maybe that's not what it's called but but you know it's this it's this acceleration of science it's acceleration of experience it's acceleration and then do do are we now are we now the the veil is getting thinner between us and whatever this other intelligence that shares this space with us or is observing us are we with the cracks are starting to appear or we maybe we're we're we're, we're, we're picking it up we're, we're trying we're starting to see it we're, we're evolving to a point where where we're now able to perceive stuff that's always been there intelligence that's always been there and you know so it's, it's really exciting times i think it's really exciting times um so kind of like for me personally steering away from the sacred side of 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 these experiences and I think everything I think everybody has got to have a perception shift which is why I, I'm I'm now in my mind I'm calling this whole this whole uh, genre or, genre, or um, group of genres the phenomenon I like that term for, for me it works it's 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 making me shift my perception 
um, so that, that I, we can look at these things differently and we don't we don't label them with our old labels um, sacred religious you can't do this you can't do that you know I know this and I know that you shouldn't do that and that, that's like you know everybody's experience is their own everybody's perception is their own reality perception is reality that's that's the that's the key that's the deal so I'm trying to shift my perception and 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 call this whole thing the phenomenon and whether or not it is or it isn't I'm trying to create a perception shift so so that's kind of where that ramble went really um I would like to also just on a tangent a little while ago a a a viewer sent us a lovely email um, and I said I would read out that trip report um, and that's what I'm going to do so I think I said before you know if anybody has got any any trip reports that they want read out um, please email um, jagdreamers at gmail.com um, and I'll read them out because it's quite interesting to get other people's perspective on, on and, and whether or not we can you know correlate some some uh, some experiences to, to, to find familiarities uh, in them so this is from a, a this is from a viewer who wants to remain anonymous uh, but it's quite cool so I'm gonna read it so hi Paul and Justin uh, I just wanted to just wanted to write to tell you that I love what you're doing with the channel. Your views on the subject align nearly perfectly with mine. I feel like I've found a couple of long lost brothers. Nice. My psychedelic journey began less than two years ago. I am just a 40 year old guy looking for answers. I've been able to bring back profound insights from every experience I've had. And this is kind of the nature of the experience. I've only recently embarked down the DMT path. The thing that drew me to your channel was the name Dreaming Jaguars. Prior to finding your channel, I, I had my first DMT experience. I hadn't gotten a proper milligram scale yet. As near as I can figure out, it was around 30 milligrams, loaded on a brand new e-mesh rig. As soon as I exhaled that single hit, I felt the instantaneous rush of acceleration and the ringing, humming sound increased, followed by a crumpling, a ripping sound. The meditation music I was listening to sounded below me and a long way off. I saw the spinning, morphing geometry of black and white and primary colours. So this is kind of the, the gateway. Then there was a feminine jester there, with indistinct features, trying to show me something. I managed to collect myself and spoke telepathically. Show me the men in the robes. She walked up to a circus tent flap, gave a little bow or curtsy, and then parted it with her left hand as if to say, Want to see in here? Then she looked over her left shoulder towards me with the most subtle shake of her head as if to say, Nope not this time while I was interacting with this jester and throughout my experience I could feel a feminine presence behind me and to my left watching over me I wasn't allowed to see her but I could feel a loving presence and this is the thing again I'm going to completely backtrack on what I said but it's kind of you can't see the face of God right it's very difficult to look directly into the eyes of these entities they are moving and they kind of avoid your gaze um, and you get snippets of them but you you it's very difficult to just stare into the eyes of these these creatures creatures entities gods at that point I opened my eyes briefly, saw I was still in my house and then closed them again. Immediately when I closed my eyes there was a geometric black jaguar face with sapphire blue eyes right in front of mine, foreheads nearly touching. His countenance was neutral as he was studying me and then it, it, was, if, as it was as if I backed away maybe 15 to 20 feet to have a better look at him. He can look into the eyes. At that point, he shifted form to a South American shaman with a jaguar headdress still connected to the jaguar pelt. He began walking towards me, but off to my right, there was a tribal woman seemingly frozen in the middle and singing and chanting. 
When I looked back towards the shaman, the vision began to fade before I was able to before he was able to reach me. I found it interesting that I was shown two opposite ends of the spectrum, going from a jester to a shaman. The trickster element, you see, is the tricksters. It's like, is that a metaphor for... No. The trickster element, is that a metaphor for... Is it the cosmic is it like a cosmic joke the trickster is it like a you don't know um, almost like here's the range of po I found it interesting that I was shown two opposite ends of the spectrum going from a jester to a shaman Although almost like here's the range of possibilities. Would you rather be entertained or would you rather be taught and healed? Before this experience, I visited an energy healer who told me there were men in robes waiting to teach me without any prior knowledge. She knew that I was about to partake in a ceremony that comes from South America. She told me to pay attention to the resistance I was feeling and that something was trying to get in the way of me having a beautiful experience, but not to worry. Don't take it too seriously. Anyway, keep up the good work. Thank you for all you do to educate and inspire. I know you're both busy, but if you have any insights about my experience, I'm all ears. Also, if I can help with any future projects or experiments, please consider me in. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, I've, I mean, I've had, I've definitely had... Uh, South American elements to my experiences, Aztec motifs, Aztec pyramids, and kind of Mayan vibes um, in my experiences. And I've also had the trickster and the jester, and the blue lady for me sometimes is very tricksterish, very jestery, very. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether that's come some kind of metaphor mentally for sort of like a you've got it all wrong. You're being duped. We are pulling the wool over your eyes. There is, you know, you've got to see past the jokes and the giggles and, <clears throat> or is it just don't take it life too seriously? I don't know. That that would be my insights into it. The it does draw elements of the South American vibes, but then, you know, that can that be because we all know that the ayahuasca ceremony and shamans are, you know, a South American thing? I don't know. I think you definitely pull elements of your, you know, you, you, you imprint your own... Um, uh, social conditioning onto the experience and there's an interesting theory that 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 these this intelligence is kind of working through your mind and giving you um you know a, a, a show to look at that you will relate to you know and it's like uh, a bit like the three body problem at the moment the aliens appear as humans because it's easier for us to be able to interact with them and if if they were to show us out their true form then we'd freak the fuck out and it's and that that that's for me resonates with this whole the whole grouping in of this intelligence this phenomenon um the DMT, the, the breakthrough psychedelic experience, the, the the UAP, UFO, alien abduction, near death experience, paranormal, artificial intelligence, this whole intelligence thing. Is it something else that is looking through these different lenses and interacting with us through these different lenses? Um, but it's all one and the same thing. It's something else that shares this reality with us. 
who knows interesting interesting times interesting theories interesting speculation anyway um thank you so much to the new members steve reed and uh symbiosis uh top top lads they've joined our whatsapp group we are interacting with them all the time symbiosis uh, he and i are speaking quite a lot he sent me this really epic um trip report psilocybin report i'm going to read that out in the coming weeks um so, so props to you guys anybody else wants to become a member uh, please do you will get early content you will get um access to our whatsapp group and then obviously if you join you know the 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 full breakthrough or entity contact level of the memberships then we'll, we'll do a two yearly twice a year we'll meet up and we'll shoot videos with you guys so consider joining the membership patreon still live patreon.com forward slash stream jaguars if you want to support the channel most importantly above all and everything else please like and subscribe to the channel we are just about to hit monetization i don't know what that even means for us whether or not we're going to get any kind of adsense revenue but let's let's see how that works out um we're trying to do our best we're trying to entertain it's all light-hearted stuff don't take it too seriously don't take life too seriously just enjoy every day with your loved ones have these experiences and just embrace the whole thing as uh, as love peace and light anyway it's easter sunday i've got some chocolate to eat i've got a roast dinner to go out and have at the pub have a lovely day have a lovely weekend and we'll see you in the next one. Oh,